Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my cozy fall morning routine. You basically saw everything I did as soon as I got up and now we're going to be doing some things fun and all fall themed, starting off with a fall simmer pot. This is a stovetop potpourri and you can have it on your stove simmering throughout the day to make your space smell really good. It's a great alternative to candles if you don't really like that or air fresheners and stuff like that this is a really natural way to make everything smell really good i am keeping this like a warm cozy simmer pot vibe so i'm using lemons oranges and i'm cutting off some of the orange rind to add that into my simmer pot if you have apples that is a great option that you could add in but i did not have that so i just went with all citrus and then spices like cinnamon nutmeg star anise pumpkin pie spice added in there with some bay leaves and cloves if you don't have oranges on hand you can use orange extract and I also added a little bit of vanilla extract to get it smelling really nice and sweet and everything comes together it just smells so good and it smells up your entire space and you just leave that to simmer throughout the day and you basically just top up the water every time it goes down but this lasts about two to three days this smells absolutely heavenly and it is so easy to make and you can make ones for different seasons So while our simmer pot is all nicely set up and simmering away and making the place smell really nice and really just setting that full ambiance, I'm going to be making pumpkin pancakes and this is seriously so easy to make with store-bought pancake mix where you just add water. So I'm just adding water to balance everything off and kind of get a consistency that I want to and then I'm adding some of the pureed pumpkin. If you don't have this, you can actually just go ahead and steam pumpkin and then puree to get the same exact mixture. I'm kind of just eyeballing everything, but I'm just go ahead and put in two spoonfuls of that pureed pumpkin into it and it gives us this really nice orange color. Like I am just living for this pastel orange. So then I'm gonna do some pumpkin pie spice in this, of course, and some chocolate chips. I am addicted to chocolate chips in my pancakes. I cannot eat pancakes without chocolate chips and, and these mini ones are perfect. So I'm gonna whisk everything together and that is really how easy it is i am not a baking gal so i will never make this from scratch so using store-bought things are really really easy i got the cutest waffle maker and it is in the shape of a pumpkin and i literally had this for months now i got it on amazon i will have it linked down below but i was saving it for this moment it is from the brand dash they have so many mini waffle and pancake makers so you basically just put in the mixture inside of it i just use like a quarter um, cup and then you will leave it in for about a minute or two but what I've noticed that when you have the pumpkin in it 
it takes a little bit longer to cook so if you don't add the pumpkin you'll realize it cooks a lot faster but i leave it in for an extra like 30 seconds or something just so that the pancake does not fall apart and look how pretty it is when you flip it over you get this really nice pancake so i'm going to be making a few this has been my go-to little guilty pleasure on mornings if i want to eat breakfast or even as an evening snack so you see there's a the waffle texture on top and then when you turn it over it is the pumpkin pancake shape which i am just living for no one would listen no i hate things you'd say after three drinks i hate that when i'd share my feelings you'd play them like a chess game and i'd hold my tongue Next up, we are making some warm pumpkin milk. I know this is a shocker, but I don't drink coffee. It's just not something that I have around me. So you could do a pumpkin spice latte, but I'm just doing pumpkin milk. I'm using non-dairy milk, so you can use like almond milk or you can use whatever milk you'd like. And then you're gonna add a few spoons of that pumpkin puree, pumpkin pie spice, maple syrup if you don't have that you can use honey or you can use brown sugar just to give it a sweetener because the pumpkin on its own does not really have a very strong flavor this is a very lazy girl way of making it by the way you can blend this up but i just add everything to a mason jar and then shake it all up for me that is literally what works the pumpkin puree just dissolves as you will see it just melts in today and then what I do is warm it up in the microwave to get a warm drink. Alternatively, you can add ice if you'd like a cold drink, or you can just do the extra, extra, extra method and do it on the stove and really just whisk everything in. But this really works and I don't have to wash an extra pot. <laughs> with you, there was no thing about these things. Oh, there's no use in holding on when you can find I spend my morning with my cats and just doing nothing basically like reading or maybe doing some word search or just just having that moment to myself I hope you enjoy this video thumbs it up if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye Mwah. Thank you.